Scientists have always studied the surface of the Earth, rocks, but they had little understanding of the deep forces that created mountains, continents, and seafloors. Then, a major revolution completely transformed geology, a new theory called plate tectonics. According to plate tectonics, the entire surface of the planet is divided into seven major plates that float on the molten interior. Many of the Earth's features were formed by the movement of these plates. Geophysicists know that what we think of as the stable surface of the Earth is in fact moving. Continents and seafloors are slowly drifting across the face of the planet. The Earth's continents can be made to fit together like parts of a giant jigsaw puzzle. 200 million years ago, the Earth looked like this, one huge supercontinent called Pangaea. This supercontinent split apart to form the world as we know it today. And it's an ongoing process. The Atlantic Ocean is growing, the Pacific Ocean shrinking, slowly, inexorably, about half an inch per year. When two plates separate, an ocean basin is created. This is how the floor of the Atlantic Ocean was formed, and it continues to widen as the South American plate and the African plate drift apart. When plates slide past each other, as at the San Andreas Fault, there are earthquakes. In other places, plates converge. 100 million years ago, India was on its own plate moving towards Asia. The oceanic part of its plate was pushed under the Asian plate. Then the two continents collided, compressing the land with colossal force. The result, an upheaval of the Earth's crust, which we call the Himalayan mountains.